In this video, we will learn about IV fluids under 90 seconds. And most of the time, students, they get confused between different type of IV fluids. So now let's just start with the isotonics first. So isotonic solutions are the solutions whose composition, osmolarity and solute content is very similar to blood. And isotonic solutions are 0.9% NaCl and your Ringer's lactate. Well, D5W also qualifies for it, but I'll tell you at the end of the video what's special about it. Now, let's just talk about hypertonic solutions. Hypertonic solutions are the solutions who have the concentrations more than 0.9% NaCl. So, for example, your 5% saline, 3% saline, 5% dextrose in 0.9% saline, which is also called as D5NS, then 5% dextrose in 0.45% normal saline, which stands for D5 half NS, your 10% dextrose in water, they will all qualify under hypertonic solutions. Now, let's just talk about hypotonic solutions. So any concentration, remember, isotonic was 0.9%. So anything which is less than 0.9% would qualify under hypotonic. So do you guys need examples? Here you go. 0.45% normal saline, which is also called as half NS. 0.35% normal saline, which is one third of NS. And 0.225% of normal saline, which is one fourth of NS, would qualify under hypotonic solutions. And now coming to the interesting fact about D5W. I am pretty sure you guys have all given it to the patients. D5W, when it is outside the patient's body, it is isotonic. But when you give this to the patient, then this dextrose metabolizes in the body and this turns into a hypotonic solution. Isn't it interesting? Stay tuned for more clinical videos and nursing updates with FPNPC.